Hi there. I thought I'd show you a little snippet from one of the courses that I've been teaching this morning. Um, I want to show you a couple of things in this, but I'm going to try not to take you too deep in. It's really simple to do. So if you need to display a slightly different type of graph, what we call a people graph, you can download it. And then once you've got it downloaded, you can use it in Excel. Let me show you what I mean. So this is a list of National Trust visitors. Um, I've taken some data that I found online. I've brought it straight into Excel. I made it into a little table. So maybe so far, so good, huh? And um, this is chart. So this little chart here is something that I've produced from my table of data. And I've then gone into this and I can use the settings to make this appear differently. But I really rather like this type with the little people running across the top. You can have it with a different background colour. And that is really a matter of your taste. And there's different themes that you get. So you might want different colour people and the shapes themselves could be different. So look, I find the ones when you're counting the number of people to be quite useful, these ones across the top here. So you can change them like this if that helps. The other ones, well, you know, perhaps we could use the clock or the watch symbol if we were looking at timekeeping. Maybe we'd be doing some sort of chart about how accurately people would, you know, coming into work or something like that. Um, if you were looking at how many boxes of something you had shipped, you could use the little cardboard boxes. That's quite nice, isn't it? So there's the watches or the clocks. Really rather good. And uh, we looked at visitors here to National Trust. Well, what if it was a sea life centre? You could have dolphins. So don't forget, you can change all your colours and make things the colours that you want. Um, I think it's quite a nice feature, really. So the way that I made this is I went off to get some data. Let me start on a brand new sheet for you just to show you it through. So if I do control and N for a brand new sheet. OK, and then I'm going to go to data and ask for data from the web. So I need to know the address of the website where I'm going to get this data from. Now, I did some work this morning using Wikipedia. So if I show you the website for Wikipedia, having looked up National Trust, you'll see that there are visitor numbers here in a little table. That's what I'm aiming for. So I need this URL to put into Excel. I'll just copy that over. And that's what I want to pop in there. And it will draw out the data for me from any website that's got data in that you need. Um, so we'll say OK, bring it in. And just look for the data. So it will be the most visited properties. You can see here that Nottingham Park has got most visitors and this is this year's data, 2023. So I'm just going to load that up. And it pops and there is my table of data. So I don't need to see the uh, ranking, if you like, number one to number 10. I don't need that. And I'm not really that bothered in this case about the location. So I'm just going to hide the location for now. This is the data I want to grab for my chart. So to get the chart, what you do is you go to the insert ribbon. And if you haven't already got people graph, pop into get Excel add-ins and type in there people graph and you'll see it come up. There's the people graph, just add that in. Now, when you've got the people graph and it's on your ribbon, push it. And here's the graphic that I was showing you before. We don't need that open. We just make this a little bit smaller bit more manageable to show you it. OK, so this is kind of like a default thing that it's come up with so that I can fill it with our data. So instead of calling it numbers about the app, I'll just pop on here, click on little spreadsheet there and give it a proper name. So this is National Trust. Visitors. And select my data. And as you can see, it's just telling me to select two columns in my Excel spreadsheet here. So if I select those, that's my data and push create. And here's your chart. And this is the little cog where we can change the data if we want to, as I showed you before. 
So I hope you like that and you would find that useful. I think it's quite a good feature. And um, I guess I've shown you a couple of things in one there, how to bring in and import data from the web, how to add in a little app into Excel, and then how to make a pupil graph. What a lovely visual way to see your data. Let me know if you find that helpful. And if you've got any questions, my details come up in a moment.